Well, the Great Rock Festival is now history. The last of the nearly half million young people who traveled to Bethel, New York during the weekend have now departed. And the dairy farm where they listen to three days of rock music is quiet, except for the normal sounds of cows mooing. Here's a report on the last of the vibrations from ABC's Gregory Jackson. Last night, the traffic was immense. But somehow, between dark and dawn, when the music finally stopped, they disappeared across the country. Although thousands remained on the rented 600-acre dairy farm, pitching in on the cleanup detail or just waiting out the crowd. The festival site is nestled in the heart of the Catskills Resort area. The biggest town nearby is Monticello. And the townspeople, quite frankly, were terrified at the prospect of the hippie arrival. But before it was over, something happened in Monticello. Residents and resorts freely emptied their cupboards for the kids. Merchants were stunned by their politeness. Polite? Uh, that's about what I can say about them. They're polite kids. But you didn't sell many shoes? No, not too many, but uh, they were happy here. I, th I think they are really a wonderful group of kids. Uh, I've never met so many kids in such large numbers that were so polite, so patient, so courteous, and understanding on, under certain these conditions that we had here in the last three days. Certainly in the beginning there was a great deal of apprehension, but right now uh, I can say that the attitude of the town is changed towards these young men and women. They uh, took a lot of aggravation and inconvenience that the average adult wouldn't take. Unfortunately, because much of the press coverage was so jaundiced in its reports of what happened here, not many people in the country will have learned what Monticello learned. Suffice it to say that it was not a disaster area. There were 450,000 young people here, an instant big city, really, with no conveniences, few police, but no violence, not even arguments in the midst of a 12-hour traffic jam. It's true one may not ask for the names of the tailors of these youngsters, but would anyone care to venture a guess about what would have happened if 450,000 well-dressed businessmen were thrown together for three days under similar circumstances? This is Gregory Jackson, ABC News, in Bethel, New York. Admittedly, there was marijuana, as well as music, at the Rock Festival, but there was also no rioting. What did not happen at that dairy farm is possibly more significant than what did happen. However, just because nearly half a million youngsters can get together and not tear one another apart is no guarantee that the rest of us can stand such mass proximity to our fellow men. On that subject, Howard has a comment. Howard? Over the past few days, we've had a glimpse of our future, and this is what it looked like. That is not a badly beat-up section of moonscape. It's a photograph from the air of that Woodstock Music Festival. Young people so packed and jammed together that they could not get proper food or water or adequate medical help. The good humor of the kids carried them through, but it was an awfully congested way of seeking enjoyment.